After the body filler work was completed, we sprayed the body of our 1965 Chevelle with a high build polyester filler from Standox. The sprayable polyester will fill all the minor pinholes and sanding scratches left in the body filler layer below. The polyester will also allow body technician John to refine the car's final shape, making the panels glass straight and the body lines crisp. Once the polyester has cured, John begins the block sanding process by applying an aerosol guide coat of black paint. The guide coat will serve several purposes. First, it makes it obvious to instantly see what areas have been sanded and which are untouched. Next, the guide coat will provide a visible reference on how smooth the sanded panel is. John spends extra time applying several layers of the guide coat spray on the body and character lines of the car to make sure it is easy to see the lines and contours as he sands. The black paint helps against the polyester's white color. After John guide coats the entire car, the actual sanding begins. John uses DuraBlock sanding blocks to back his 220 grit 3M sandpaper to keep the panel straight without introducing finger marks. Dura blocks are rigid, but they still allow the block to contour to the panel. Although sanding an entire car by hand is a lot of work, the Standox polyester sands off easily. John runs a 3M tape line from one end of the car to the other on the body line areas, guiding him to make sure the character lines are crisp and defined. The Standox polyester changes back to its white color as it is sanded smooth, and soon, our 1965 Chevelle's body is once again solid white. The character lines are crisp and defined, and larger flat areas are mirror flat. And because it was sprayed on, the polyester leaves no sanding scratches or pinhole bubbles in the surface. After the polyester sanding is completed, the Chevelle will get a final coat of primer and sealer before the first color coats of paint.